Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bruno for the BTN HD, and today is all about installing Microsoft Dart 10. So let's get started. Uh, so first things first, you need to get the desktop optimization package ISO, right? Uh, I'm going to right click on it and you're probably saying to yourself, where do you find it? It's really hard to find it if you are navigating in the internet world. Uh, I retrieved my ISO because I have a volume license within uh, Microsoft. So that's how I got it. Uh, so yeah. So I right click on the ISO. I went to seven zip, extract the files, clicked OK, and it's starting extracting all the files within the ISO because the desktop optimization has more, you know, more than Dart in it, right? I'm going to show you guys. So once it's done, we're going to double click on the folder and it has at V has Dart, has MBAN, has uh, uh, UEV, has a lot of stuff inside that desktop optimization. But today we're only going to deal with Dart. So double click on the Dart folder. Uh, it has seven, version eight with Service Pack 1, 8.1 and 10. The one that we're going to do today is 10. So we're going to double click on the Dart 10 folder, go to installers, find your language mine was english us which is the second folder and pick your poison i'm going to run it as a 64 bit so i double click on that now you're probably saying to yourself uh, what type of machine you're running it on i'm not running it on a server machine i'm actually running it on a windows 10 machine and it's a virtual machine which is i believe built 1709 it's a pretty old machine right pretty old build so we're going to right click on the file and click on install and it's gonna start preparing to install. Uh, but I get a nice little warning and it says you need to download the Windows ADK file. So what you could do here is just click on no, uh, because if you click on download Windows ADK, it doesn't really technically take you to the website to download it. Silly, right? So click on no, open up your favorite browser, mine is Chrome, and on the search box, I'm gonna type in Windows 10 ADK, click enter, and it's typically the first link. Make sure it's going to the Microsoft site, right? Very important. So I clicked on download and install Windows ADK, the first, you know, first link, takes me here. Now with Windows 10 version 1903, Microsoft added a nice little twist. Hopefully you guys, you know, saw my video of how to install Windows ADK 1903. I kind of break that down for you guys. So I'm not gonna go over it here. So first things first, I'm gonna download the Windows ADK. I'm gonna click on that link. Second thing that I'm going to do is download the Windows PE, click on that link. And last but not least, I'm going to download the Windows System Image Manager 1903 update. So click on those three links and we're good to go. Now I'm going to click on the nice little arrow and show in folder. Now the first thing I'm going to install is the ADK setup file and I'm going to right click on it, run it as an administrator, click yes on the user account control. It's going to start loading up. Click next here, pick your poison from here. I picked no and clicked on next, accept the license and terms, accept it. And I left everything as the default and click install. And it takes about five to six minutes. It's really fast. And once everything is done, you're going to get this and then click on close. Next thing that we're going to install is the Windows ADK WinPE files. So locate the exe file, right click on it, run it as an administrator, click next here. Pick your poison, I pick no, click next, accept the license and terms, and you're only going to install only one thing, right? Which is the Windows PE. Click install, take some time, eventually you're going to get this and you're done, click on close. Now, because of the Windows 1903, you have to do an additional step and uh, the third file was a zip file, so we're gonna right click on it. I have seven zip installed in this machine, so I'm going to extract the files, click okay. I'm going to double click on the new folder, the WSIM1903, and I'm going to right click on the update WSIM.bat file and run it as an administrator. And then click yes on the user account control. And it's pretty fast, right? Again, check out my other video. It breaks down why we need to do that. Now, once you're done with that, we're gonna locate that MSI file again, the Dart file, right click on it, install, and it finds your Windows ADK it loads this up, it loads up the setup wizard. Click on next, accept the license agreement. Uh, if you want, uh, I would recommend doing Microsoft updates, check the updates, which is recommended, 
and then click next. By default, it's going to drop it inside your C drive. You are able to relocate it. It's really up to you. I left it as the default. Click on next. I want everything. I want the crash analyzer. I want the Dart recovery image and I want the Dart remote connection viewer. So we're going to click on next on that and then click install. You're going to get the user account control. Definitely hit yes. And it's going to start installing. And once it's done, you got this and click on finish. If you click on the start menu, you're going to see a new folder called Microsoft Dart 10. Expand it and you're going to see the three tools that you installed. And that's it, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Leave comments right below. Don't forget about hitting that like button. And I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.